Good morning. My name is Amanda Bays, and I live in Virginia Beach, Virginia. Thank you for giving me this opportunity to speak to you today. For the past five years, I have documented aircraft emitting trails across the sky. I have taken hundreds of videos and thousands of photographs of these persisting emissions. Many of the aircraft I have witnessed appear to be spraying something into the atmosphere. Uneasy with my observations, I wanted to know exactly what was causing the aircraft to leave, leave visible trails that did not dissipate. I reached out to local, state, and federal government agencies for information and assistance. What I experienced was disillusioning, to say the least. When I called the EPA, I was told that the FAA handled aircraft emissions. When I called the FAA, they call, told me to call the EPA. I was shuttled from office to office with no agency ever accepting responsibility or accountability. My calls were not returned, nor were my concerns ever addressed. The sage advice I finally received from, an EPA, from the EPA was to hire a plane and do my own testing. This was especially disheartening since I had been led to believe that the Environmental Protection Agency was the ultimate protector of the environment. Additionally, the EPA advised me to contact the Department of Environmental Quality for the state of Virginia. Not surprisingly, the DEQ informed me that they do not regulate mobile sources of emissions, don't go to airports, and don't check what is being loaded on planes. As for my request for my yard to be tested for heavy metal, chemical, or biological contamination, I was told that the Virginia DEQ could not use state money to test for those materials. Furthermore, my complaint was in an area that they had no authority to investigate, another dead end. I reported Naval, Station, Naval Air Station Oceana military jets for dumping fuel over my neighborhood and spoke with at least 30 individuals at the base. I finally spoke with Terry Chamberlain, head of the Environmental Office at Oceana. Mr. Chamberlain bluntly informed me that the military regulates itself. Needless to say, they continue to dump unburnt fuel over the residents living close to the base. For several years, I electronically reported on airplane pollution using the Environmental Violations Form on EPA's website, epa.gov tips. It was referred to me by an ASRC federal contractor working for the EPA. I have always included my contact information on the tip report and identified specific aircraft that can easily be traced. No one from the EPA has investigated any of my formally filed complaints. Since I became interested in the possible dangers of chemical spraying in the environment, I have contacted the Virginia Pollution Control Board, National Weather Service, Oceana and Damneck military bases, NOAA, NASA, the Department of Defense, Brookhaven National Laboratory, the Department of Energy, the Department of Homeland Security, FEMA, the Health Department, the Department of Travel, countless federal agents and operators, the Virginia Beach Police Department, and even the White House, all to no avail. To date, no one from any agency has investigated my complaints. I was told to talk to my local representatives. Every agency I contacted responded to my reports by telling me that I was seeing condensation from en engine exhaust. Aircraft engines do emit water vapor, of course, but vapor that quickly dissipates. What I was witnessing was persistent and long-lasting. How can anyone reasonably conclude that a particular aircraft emission is merely a contrail without testing it? That is both unscientific and irresponsible. Chemtrails, as opposed to contrails, is the term used to describe persistent aircraft emissions. There is a rising international concern about the existence of airborne chemical spraying bolstered by a growing body of scientific evidence. What is in the air that we are breathing? One chemtrail activist from California decided to have, excuse me, decided to have his hair tested for heavy metals at his own expense. High levels of strontium and barium were uncovered. I have a copy of his lab results that he voluntarily sent to me. I will post this document on my Facebook page, Madison Star Moon, following this hearing. Did this contamination come from chemical spraying? How can we know if local, state, and federal agencies refuse to take ownership of the issue to provide testing and usable data and ultimately regulate when required? The whole burden of investigation cannot rest with the EPA. It must be shared with other agencies in Congress. 
However, there must be clear lines of authority so that the public is fully informed and protected. The stated purpose of this hearing is to consider the full range of pollution generated by aircraft. The desire for investigation into chemical spraying has become a worldwide phenomenon. We are counting on you as the protectors of the environment to act. No more runarounds for citizens deeply concerned about the health of the world and the individuals that inhabit it. Thank you.